Hi everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to set up a CA using uh, Windows Server 2019. So let's get to it. Going to log into our server. And we have um, the server we've been working on. All right, so to set up the CA, we'll go to Server Manager. And we want to add uh, roles and features. Next, next, next. And uh, want Active Directory Certificate Services and Included tools and features. Next. Uh, next. Can I be changed? Okay, so we're good with that. So what are we gonna want? Uh, certificate authority, of course, and uh, enrollment policy, add that stuff. Certificate enrollment web service and web enrollment. Network device enrollment and uh, online response to vacation checking data accessible to clients and environment. Okay, we're just gonna use these and we don't need the other two. And uh, it's gonna install uh, IIS as well. So, I mean, everything that we are gonna need for this is already there. So we'll just click next, we will install. Uh, and I'll pause the video. I I think it should be fairly fast. Yeah, it's fast. So. There. Need some updates to install. Uh, we can take care of that later. Close out of this thing. And we can go to here and configure. So, uh, we will be specify credentials. So, we'll use this account. This is our enterprise admin account. And we're going to configure these. 
Perfect. Okay, so we'll configure these two first, and then we'll configure the last two because these are prerequisites for additional services. This one is actually a prerequisite. This is not, but uh, so we want We'd like to use this as an enterprise CA for this particular case. And this is going to be a root CA, not a subordinate, because, well, we don't have any other CA, so that's our root. It's going to be an online root, since this is just a small lab environment, so we don't need to make uh, subordinates. We don't need to make a hierarchy in this particular case. So create a new private key. And we have Quick Explorer, Microsoft, RSA, Microsoft Software, Key Stuff, right? That's fine. Key length is fine. And then SHA 256 is also fine. What do we name our CA? This is fine. Yeah, I'll just leave it as that. Validity period, let's make it hmm, 10 years. That should be more than enough. <laughs> um, next, certificate database we can leave as default. And uh, let's configure. Close, and then it will ask, do you want to con uh, uh, configure additional roles? Yes, we do. This is uh, the user we're going to be configuring now. So we're going to configure these two. And uh, uh, we'll use specify CFO. Uh, select certificate authority that you want issued certificate request. It's OK, this is fine. We can leave this as default. Client certificate and username. Uh, Windows integrated application that's what we'll be using for this particular situation. Okay, for the service account, it is best to use a um, uh, specific um, uh, service account to run your service. Uh, but uh, this is a lab environment, so we don't need to make a service account for this. Uh, so we'll just use the built-in application pool identity. Uh, Windows Authenticate, integrated authentication is fine. Service certificate. Uh, Choose an existing certificate for SSL encryption. This is fine. And uh, server authentication. Let's configure that. And it is successful, so we can close. And uh, that's pretty much it. 